Hi everyone, Zoe from Telecam, and today's video is another Vimix video because we know that although our cameras work perfectly, they can't go solo. It has to work into fit into the workflow, the ecosystem. That's why we spent a few episodes talking about Vimix production. Well, today's video is about adding triggers into your Vimix production. I know that triggers can be very versatile. You can add it into any existing inputs on your Vimix. But today I want to specifically talk about inputs that can be applied into sports event production or esports event production or any other scoring events production. Because that's where most of our Telecam PDZ cameras are frequently used for. I don't want to be boring, but there's a term for today's video. It's called camera triggered score display, which means that the score appearance can be triggered by the specific camera being used. I'll give you a very quick example here. Switch to camera two. The scoreboard will automatically show up. Back to camera one. Now it goes away. Go to camera three. New camera, new scoreboard. Go back to camera two. Now let's dive into it. I've already added three pictures, pretend to be three cameras, cam one, cam two, and cam three, and also a total scoreboard and a specific scoreboard for each round. I want the total scoreboard to appear every time I switch to the cam two. In that case, all I have to do is to click setup, go to triggers, there are some parameters that you can choose from. The trigger, the function, input, duration, delay, value, and mix. Well, the first thing we're going to do is to choose when do you want your trigger to work. I want my trigger to appear on transition in, so I'm going to choose on transition in. Do remember to change the function from transition to overlay. Overlay input one in. Now here's the input that you want to display automatically by, you know, cutting the scene. So do remember to choose the total score. It's scoreboard three, nine up, 11. No delay, add. Let's see how it works. Now cam three is on air. I'm going to cut cam two. There you go, the total scoreboard appears. But one more thing we do need to remember is to close the trigger. Otherwise, the scoreboard is going to be there all the time. For example, um, if I want to cut to the cam three, the close shot, it's going to be there because I didn't close the trigger on camera two. So let's go back to camera two setups and choose on transition out. Because when the camera is transitioning out, I want to close the trigger. So that's when I want it to happen. For the function, go to overlay. Remember the last time we chose uh, over the input one in, and now this time we're gonna go with out. And let's see how it works. Close the layer. Let's have a try. Now when I'm transitioning out of camera two, go into camera three, it'll automatically go away. So that's how we close a trigger. Now I want the scoreboard 5 to display when I hit cam 3. All I need to do is to click the setup on cam 3, go to triggers, on transition in, that's when you want your trigger work, and then go to function, choose overlay, overlay input in, choose the one in the scoreboard 5, and add. Do remember to close the trigger. On transition out, overlay, overlay input out, and add. Now let's see how it works. Go to cam one, nothing happens. Cam two, there goes the scoreboard. Go back to cam one, it automatically disappear, and then go to cam three. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. That's all about today's video. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe Telecam and give it a thumb up. 
and comment down below. I'm going to see you next time. Bye.